G'day guys, in this video we're going to use the aggregate supply and aggregate demand model to explain things that end up happening in the economy. So we're going to look at what happens when there is a shift to the right in aggregate demand and then we'll define the terms inflationary gap and demand pull inflation. So in a previous video we showed equilibrium with the following graph and we said that yes this is nice and convenient where short run equilibrium is the same as long run equilibrium but what happens when that changes? So let us see specifically what happens when aggregate demand increases from aggregate demand 1 to aggregate demand 2 and remember that our aggregate demand is equal to consumption, investment, government spending and net exports and these could all potentially increase for a variety of reasons. For example with net exports if some foreign economy has had its price level rising then the households in that economy might seek imports such as from this economy so you get an increase in net exports meaning an increase in aggregate demand and in the same way you could get an increase in government spending or you could get an increase in investment for whatever reasons so aggregate demand can increase which is shown by a shift up or to the right in the aggregate demand curve when this change occurs, in the short run, 